All right, guys, so this is using trade armor, and I'm gonna show you how to use it. So right now I have intraday trading on, and you can see that I currently have an order to buy at 19.54. But for the video, just to have some more skin in the game, I'm gonna buy some shares. And look, I can drag where I wanna buy it, and it'll say replace right here. So right now, let's say I lowered the order to 19.53 and I hit replace it'll replace the order for me. And now the order is placed and you can see that it has changed at 19.53. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to click on trade and then I can hit buy and I can put the amount of shares that I wanna do, whether it was like 50 or five, whatever you wanna do. And I can start looking at it. So here, if I put, if I, if I place this button and I hit place, it's going, if I press place, it's going to buy at the nearest price at 1973 right now. Uh, if you want to get a better look and just see where things are going, instead of doing intraday, you can click and do the five minute. You can do the one minute, you can do the five minute, you have the two day, you have the five day. But I just want to get in the trade so that you can actually see what is happening. So if I want to adjust this, I can either click the toggles up where it's going up by 0.01 as you can see, or I can drag it any price I want. And I'm gonna put it right here. And then you'll see the limit starts changing as I move this. So I wanna get us in the trade. So let's see here, let's see if we can get in at like 19.66. And now I hit replace and you can see that it changed my old order and now it's here at 19.66. So I'm gonna go back to trade and see if it just fills. I'm going to wait. And let's just say I didn't like the order. You just hover over it and then you hit the X button. And now that I X'd it, my order is canceled. I technically do not have any shares in. But if I want to buy again, I can just put it in again, put it in for 50 shares. And if I hit market, it's going to just buy it at the nearest price, which is 19.71. You can change this to a limit order if you want to. And you can put in the price too if you want. So if you don't want to buy it above 19.7, you want to buy it, let's say 19.68 or below, I can put a limit order in and have it ready to hit place. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit place. And we're going to click on trade. And I'm currently filled. So I'm going to hit sell. And you'll see I have 50 shares showing here. So I'm going to hit 50 shares. And let's say I had a profit target of, let's say, I don't know, let's just say like 19.78. I can either, there's a few things you can do. You can just set the sell. Instead of market sell, you can place the order that you want it. So like, let's move it up to 7.6. And it's going to start estimating the gain. So if I were to, let's say, put it at like, let's just put it higher so you can actually see a bigger gain, 19.9. It shows if I sold up here at 19.9, the order's not placed yet, I would make $15. If I wanted to set my stop loss, I hit sell, stop. And then you have to put it below the current price, which is 19.69. You can put 19 point, uh, let's just put it at 5. And you can see I'm risking $9 here. And let's say I hit place. So now my stop is in. So close this ticket. Now my stop is in. And you can see that right here is where it would stop out at 19.5. If I want to move it up, you just drag it. And right now you can see this, this line, this orange line is formed on Active Trader Pro. And if you just click here, or you don't have to click, just hover over it, it shows the 52 week low at 19.56. So we can just theoretically move this. I mean, I like to give it a little bit of wiggle room, so I'd rather give it like 19.5. We could leave it there and see if it'll stop out or not. But if I wanted to confirm it, I just have to hit replace order. So if I put replace order, 19.5 now will be the new order that it stops out. So as we're watching this trade, you can set the buy and the sell and the limit order as you're going. 
which is a really nice feature. Now I'm just, so we'll see if it gets triggered or not because it looks like SQQ is still selling off. But at least when you're trading, you, if you want to see like where it's going to be, like where you could sell it and lose it, you just hit, I think what's better actually is this is what I really wanted to explain. I didn't, I couldn't find this before, but you can do sell bracket. And now you can put your stop loss in with your sell order. So what we're going to do instead of, so let's say it bounces up. I can't take my gain. So I'm going to cancel this order. And now I'm going to put my stop where I originally wanted it at 19.51. And then I'm going to put my sell order at 19.51. Nine. So now you will see it's starting to show that my sell is up here at 19.9 and my and then my stop loss is 19.51. And now, oh yeah, so you, if you put the shares in, it'll show you what the gains and the losses are. So now that I added the shares, it'll show you that I'm risking $11. I'm, I can win $11 or I can lose eight. And you can change this as it goes. Like I don't have to leave it like that. I could make this $20. And now you can see my, my profit loss ratio is two to one. So I'm trying to risk $8.50 for 16. So this is definitely one way to be looking at this. And then you hit place. And now my trades are in. So now you can see I have sell 50 shares at $20 but I have a stop loss and it's, it's one cancels the other. And if you hover over this one, you'll see it. It says sell at, oh, here we go. I'll do it this one. Cause I don't think the recording is showing it. So you'll see it says sell 50 shares at $20 and then the stop loss at 19.51. And now if you click on it, it'll just show you what your target is. So I'm, I'm trying to make $16, which is 1.63%, and I'm risking 8.5, which is 0.86%. So looking at this chart, I don't know where it's gonna go realistically. So let's just, let's lower this a little bit to have it like here where the resistance is, and then let's see what our profit ratio is. So, but this is good. So then you hit replace. Oh, it's not showing for some reason. All right, and then you can see that you can lower it and see where it goes. So now it's like I'm only going I'm only going for one to one, which is nine dollars and eight point five. So Fidelity Active Trader Pro has it's cool to use their trade armor because you can kind of go through like not just the intraday, but you could look at like the one year chart, and you could see where it shows here. It shows fifty two week low nineteen point five six. So we're buying the low here. I mean, it could get lower, who knows? And then you have resistance at 22.06, it says. And then the 52-week high it shows you on the one-year chart, which is in orange, is 69.55. But it's just a unique way that if, if this is how you want to trade and you want to be able to just put your stops in and put your uh, your stop in and your, your gains in so you can see what the estimated gain and the estimated stop loss, it kind of takes away the emotions of trading. And you'll be able to just make a nice trade and let let the market play out instead of trying to time everything. So it's definitely something to look into. And you have all different options. You can look at the five day. The one thing I, I noticed I, I don't know how to change is I don't know if you can change these candles. These look like little line bar graphs. And I'm so used to trading on candles or the hollow candles that it looks a little odd to me, to be honest. But... Even when I right click, I can't find any any settings to actually change this. I don't, you can right click on the actual screen and you can buy or sell through this or set price alerts. So if you wanted to set a price alert, you can right click and then click price alert or you can just hit alert up here. And then you can set the alert for, let's just put like where my stop is, right? And you can put 19.5. And then we could put 19.99 and this will set an alert. And now that will just trigger and show me where it is. If it goes past that, it looks like we're going to stop out to be honest. So let's just leave the trade up. Let's see. So we can actually see it, which will be nice. And 
You see how nothing shows here? Remember, we just have to click on where we set our cell and it'll just show where it is. So we're pretty close to stopping out here at 19.51. Let's just see if it triggers down. But this gives you opportunity to see if uh, it just, you know, makes your, your stop loss and your sell limit order nice and easy. Whether you're doing something, but you don't want to take on too much risk, but you want to get some type of trade in. I think it's good to, uh, it's a good avenue because you could just quickly do those bracket trades. Um, you just, all you have to do is click trade and then you can just do sell bracket or you can do a buy triggers a bracket order. But let's see, I'm about to stop out here. I want to see if it triggers. So let's see here. Let's just, this looks like, all um, this looks like a little confusing here. So let me just take this off just so you guys don't have to see that. All right. So we're at 19.53. Let's see if it triggers and then it should just, I want one of these to trigger just so we can see it during the video, just to see how fast it is and how quick it updates. So we're very close to stopping out here, but look, it's coming back. SQQ doesn't want to die anymore, apparently, but let's just keep it in because it's testing that low of 19.55 and that's where it was like, and if you need more confirmation, you could just look here on the orange and it'll show you the low is 19.52. So apparently we didn't stop out, but we were very close because it was 0.01 away. This is going to turn into like a 25 minute video because this trade is going to take forever to, to, to play out, which is okay. We don't want to lose the money, I guess. Let's see. So another option I noticed what you can do is if you just click out of this and then you click under trade and then you click under, you can click under stock, but this is calls and puts. You could trade options. So options can be traded, which is very interesting. You can do options from, you can do options from this, this chain. So let's see if we can buy an option here. Why not? So we have calls and puts. You can pick the expiration here. I don't really recommend this, but it is good. You can see, you can see where the profit loss ratios are on this, which is nice. So you can click your strike price. And since we're trading at 19.5, let's put, let's put 20 and let's try to buy a call. Let's see how much it costs. And as you can see here, the bid is 43. So it cost me $43 to buy one call option. So let's see if we can buy a call option. So you can either do market buy or you can do the limit order. And then you can place the limit order and it shows the bid and the ask. So within this, Let's just, you know, let's just try this too. Maybe we'll torch on this too. So what we'll do is you put the market and you can buy one contract and then you can, you press place and then you'll have your call option going. So right now it looks like looking at my, my trade, the even trade right now. Right now we are still in this trade and it looks like SQQ is starting to bounce back. And maybe, maybe uh, QQQ is starting to hit that resistance level right here. So this is a very long trade, which is okay. Because when I trade, I normally just scalp. I usually like my trade today I made on Tesla was, you know, 15 seconds, but it was quick $400 profit. So it's just, I like to trade the volatility, but I, I do see the value in using trade armor because you are able to place the trades and not have to worry and just set your stops. And every time you trade, you can just click trade and then you can set up your brackets, which is really nice. So you can just, you can do buy triggers a bracket. So when you get filled, it, it fills a bracket for you, but you can put the prices in that you want it to be like your stop, your limit, 
and whether you want it to be good till canceled or the day order. So there's definitely a lot of value that Trade Armor definitely offers. The options, I would be a little hesitant to be buying options through Trade Armor. I have another video where you use the directed trade options box and I just feel it gives you more information when comparing it to, let's say, using the the calls and puts. I don't know what rolls, collars, or, or buy is, so I'm just going to ignore that, but the call and puts, you can you can just do it here and you can buy to open and set it all here if you want to and you can see the prices but for me this is a little this is a little i'd rather have more information when i'm buying options but i do like how they you can put your market your limit your stop in and you can you can place your order and see but i definitely think I'm looking at these options and they're not really, they are kind of moving. I guess the bid was 0.47 and 0.46 before, and then it was 0.5. So there is, there is opportunity here. I would love to see this come up a little bit more because I kind of just want to end this trade so we can end the video and we can see what it looks like. But let's just see what our, our cost basis is 19.68. And I do like that SQQ is starting to rebound here potentially. So this could be a potential bounce play which would be really nice but as you can see it's showing me up here on the five day this is the five day chart that we can see that 22.06 is the resistance now we can go to the two day let's see if we get a better chart so it doesn't even show us resistance on this on the two day i guess because it's not above that the 22 but we'll just go on the intraday five minutes see if we get a better look and it's hard to tell with these candles i i wonder if you can change this if anybody knows in the comment section below, definitely leave a, a message. But I never really trade off Trade Armor, but I definitely want to at least show it because it definitely offers a lot of opportunity to trade within this if you want to. But look at this. We're starting to we're starting to gain some traction here. If we can break through this, I think this is see, this is the problem. It's it's hard to tell. So Unless I roll this down on my own and just roll this here, it's hard to tell what the price is. But you can see the tip of this would be 19.74. So if it breaks 19.74, then we might get an actual nice pullback. And then I set an alert, I guess. I have an alert up here. Rises above 46.89. I'm just going to delete that because we're like 30 points away. And All right, so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to end this trade just because it's taking so long for this video. But what I like about this is if you left this 20 up here and then you wanted to move your stop. So this is my alert, as you can see, because it says price falls below, but then it has S for stop. So if I start to move this up, I would like to get this above where I bought it, obviously. But as I move it, you can see, look, it's adjusting on the estimated gain. So if the stock happened to go up, which would be really nice, you would be able to see this and you can see the price changing as we go. Versus if I pulled it down, you can see your stop loss and you can see your gains and your losses. So that I could see that being valuable. So if this can just pop up a little bit above, then we'll change it. But let's just see if we just click here and then you just have to hit replace and it would let you replace it. And it shows I'm risking $2 now to make 16, which would be like every trader's dream, I guess, if they can make those gains. Well, let's just see what it decides to do. I'll make my stop a little tighter this time since it bounced. We'll put it at 19.6 and we'll hit replace. No, oh, see, it's not letting me do it for some reason. I think because they're not within one of each other, like they're too close. So when I hit replace on this, it's not allowing me to do it because it says, oh, okay. It's saying that the prices have to be 2% away from each other. Interesting. At least 25 cents it's giving me that it has to be away from it, which is very interesting. So if you needed to, you could just cancel your orders and then go back. So I'm going to cancel that alert order and then my stop order. I want to see if I could just, if I cancel, how does this work? So this is an order that I was trying to place that is separate. So you can just get rid of this. Let's just move this up. 
And then here you have, oh, so if you hover over it, you'll see the X starts to form. Let's see here, just so we can try to end this trade so you guys can see it. Yeah, it's still not letting me. Yeah, it's so interesting. I'm trying to um, cancel it, but I don't know if it's because I'm recording and I have the screen up, so my, my computer's overheating. But it's like it shows the X and then I can't X it off. So maybe it would show it on your guys' computer. Oh, there we go. Oh, So I X it out. That cancels my stop out. So there it is, cancel. And that sounds about right. So now it's like it's... It's not even gonna let me cancel this guy, but now I have no stop loss. All right, so in order to, let's just see how it looks when we sell. So sell 50 shares. Because for the purpose of the video, and if anybody stuck around to watch it this long, I just want to show you that, let's just put this at 70 and I hit place. You will see that I have the sell order now at 19.70. Trying to get this a little lower. So we'll see if it triggers and goes if it wants to bounce up. All right, good. So now you can see, I'm gonna place this sell order. Oh, so there you go, it just went through. I see it triggered on my screen, but it looks like it's still delayed here, like it didn't sell through, but I did, I did sell it, I did go through. Let me show you guys just so you can see it. So right here, you will see that on my today, I'm up $389. But more importantly, what I wanted to show you that's that I think is worth it is you can see the SQQ gains. And if I click here, You'll see the jeez. Oh, You'll see the trade. Of twenty one dollars and ninety eight cents. But that's it. That's what I wanted to show you. I just